Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. My name is Raham Sheikh. In the previous video, I showed you how to write Terraform configuration file. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to execute the code. So in the command number one, you need to understand what is Terraform init. Terraform init is nothing but it is responsible to download the provider plugins. If you want to create any cloud resource, you need to have the provider plugin. Let's say I want to create server on AWS. So I need to download AWS provider plugins. If I want to create an Azure, I require Azure provider plugins. If I want to create a GCP or even IBM, I need to have provider plugins. But how can I get? There is a command called Terraform init command. This init command is going to download the Terraform provider plugins from terraform.register.io. So without these provider plugins, we cannot uh, create the resources. And one of the most important question you are going to get in the certification is, where the plugins are going to store. By default, every provider plugin is going to store on .terraform folder on our home path. So if you see here, currently my provider plugins are downloaded. If I give ls-al, you can see .terraform folder. In this folder, you can see the Terraform provider plugins. Coming to second one, Terraform plan. Terraform plan is a command that is going to create the execution plan. That means whatever the code I have given, in the code I have given AMID in instance type. By taking both of them as input, it is going to show me how my resource creation is going to be created in the plan point of view. You can see already my plan is ready. So once my plan is ready, directly I can go for command called terraform apply. This command is responsible for creating the resources. Plan will create an execution plan, but it won't create a resource. But apply is going to read the file and what are the inputs I have given based upon the input the resources are going to create. It is going to ask me the permission, simply type yes, that's it. So now here you are going to get a, one of the most frequent and common common mistake. The reason I am showing this mistake is here you can see malformed AMI ID. That means what are the AMI you are using that is not in a correct format. Let me tell you why. So by chance, if you are beginner for AWS, you need to understand one thing. Whenever you are copying the AMI, sometimes people are going to copy it to half only. And the reason why so I have done is, whenever if you are getting the malformed AMI means you are having the mistake on AMI set itself. So how to troubleshoot? Very easy. But before getting the troubleshooting, I will show you how to read the error in Terraform. So the error is coming from label called AWS instance with block number 1. And in the main.tf from the line number 5, the mistake is starting. So if I go to main.tf, main.tf in the line number 5. So if you count the number of lines here, 1, or you can use the command called set number. Okay. So from the line number 5, the error is starting. So if you can go and see, the mistake is clearly showing from AMID. So simply go and add the missing letters called 7 and C. This is how exactly we are going to perform troubleshooting. So you need to know how to read the error, sir. So to read the error, it is very simple. If you scroll up here, a bit. This is what you need to read for the error. Okay, fine. Now, if I go to Terraform apply directly, it is going to create me the resource in a fraction of seconds. See it now. Just type yes. That's it. Within the next 20 seconds, your server is going to ready in the AWS cloud. So wait for it. So you can see AWS instance with label number one is creating. I'll tell you why that name we are getting is, okay. So first take 10 seconds got completed. So next 20 seconds, yes, that's it. Exactly for 21 seconds, your resource got created. If you go to your AWS account, and if you try to check the instances here now, you can see a new server that is running that is called as a dev server. And who created the dev server? Terraform itself. Now, I'll tell a small point here. If I open the main.tf, okay, you can see AWS instance with block label 1. The same thing you are going to get. Sir, once if my infra got created, if I don't want it anymore, go and give the command called terraform destroy. This is responsible to delete the server in my AWS cloud account. And before creating and deleting, Terraform usually ask the permission to grant. So we can give either yes or either no. If I want to delete, go and give yes, that's it. 
Now, if you go to your AWS cloud account and if you click on refresh here, ultimately the server got destroyed. So, these are the four basic commands of Terraform what we need to use in the real time point of view. But again, if you get any kind of confusion for remembering these four commands, nothing to worry. We have a special, special, special keyword called iPad. Yes, you heard it right. Let me draw the small, small, small uh, token for you. So, already we know in Terraform we are having four commands. Command number one, Terraform init. Command number two, Terraform plan. Command number three, Terraform apply. Command number four, Terraform destroy. So, what is the keyword I said? iPad. So, if you see I for init, P for plan, A for apply, D for destroy. Okay. This is the way how exactly we are going to understand the Terraform comments. Thank you all.